We got a little pile of bits and terrain here. Um, first piece, got a, a little chunk of Cities of Death or Manufactorum or something. Um, I really love the detail that's in these Games Workshop uh, terrain pieces. I mean, look at that skull. Um, even if I don't often get around to painting them or using them on bases or anything, it's just I, I love the the look and feel of the terrain and it really adds to your board a lot um, the other thing I got as far as terrain take a look um, I think these are Forge World correct me if I'm wrong please maybe they're just Games Workshop but they are resin um, just nice big old heaping chunks of resin barricades slash debris I mean you got an Aquila there you got a statue that's fallen over those are really sweet um, you know, some vents. Let's see what's over here. On this side. Some bullet holes and some more vents. This one's really nifty. I'm going to start with the boring side first, though. So I've got, got some skulls. You know, you can see a little bit of the Aquila on that fallen piece there. Kind of thing. But look at the detail on this side. Look at that. Look at those roses and those skulls and the chains. It's really great looking. Um, got a nice big old piece. Of, look, look how thick this is, guys. Look at that. This thing weighs like three pounds. <laughs> Crazy. Um, really cool. Just some pipes and stuff that have gotten uh, thrown together to to form another barricade. Um, this one's definitely my favorite. Uh, little beat up motorcycle. Uh, of course, and you're gonna paint this up in the style of. The army you don't like, so this will be probably an Imperial Fist uh, motorcycle, maybe a Space Wolf motorcycle, something like that, because they obviously don't know how to uh, ride very well. And judging from this piece right here, they're definitely not Dark Angels because they don't have the wings on their bike. Um, just a really cool looking piece. I'm really, again, excited to paint these up. Um, I think they just add a lot to anything that you do. Uh, now this big old pile here, most of it is Dark Angel's backpacks um, for my army, but I'm going to pull out just a few things here uh, that I can make sure that I find um, just to uh, show you guys um, while I'm doing this. Uh, I'll just talk a little more about, you know, what uh, my thought process was on getting some of this. Um, now the backpacks... I was starting to run a little low actually on the backpacks and they had a ton of these shoulder pad bits that I use for my army. Um, also some very nifty and handy Terminator backs. Let me see if I can get a focus on that. Yep. Backs for Terminators. Uh, that'll actually help me make a few more um, roped Terminators. Let's see. Grab the metal bits out of there. Grab the Forge Worldy goodness. Um, let me see. Sorry guys, don't mean to be taking up too much of your day here, but I assume if you've made it this far in the videos, you're just looking to see uh, what all is going to show up and just listen to something while you paint. So I'm going to scoot that to the side now and get down to the, the good stuff. First up, here is a banner that goes, I believe, on the top of a dreadnought for Black Templars. Now, obviously I don't have Black Templars, but I thought to myself, that right there, my friends, is an amazing um, Empire standard uh, with the Iron Cross and the skeleton and all that. Just really a nice looking uh, piece. It's missing the skull on top, but, um, you know, it's Games Workshop. I've got skulls. So, yeah, I just thought that would be a really cool standard for Empire. Um, some of these things, I actually don't know what they are. I believe I have a couple of these uh, Mark III, maybe Mark IV shoulder pads. Um, Crusade, something or other shoulder pads, I believe. Um, I, I have actually never bought an assault kit, so I didn't have any axes. Uh, so I picked up quite a few, both left and right-handed axes, uh, just so I could... Sorry, I had terrible with that camera there. Um, sort of complete my uh, 
collection a little bit. Um, I think axes are, are very, um, I don't know, very cool. Add a lot to uh, the the feel of the army by, you know, having the variety of weapons. Uh, picked up a two-handed Grey Knight uh, sword there. These are old uh, Rogue Trader style Rogue Trader um, backpacks. Uh, now, I can't recall if these, in particular, are Rogue Trader backpacks. I believe these are for the Legion of the Damned. Um, I believe I found them with a bunch of them. But, let me see. You can see it's got a skull there on the end. A lot like one of the, um, oh, the backpacks over here that's got a skull on the end. So I thought that'd be a really cool addition. Um, little Grey Knight Psychic Warding Staff. Um, I was going to try and convert up my own little plastic librarian with that and see what I could... Uh, managed to come up with. So here are some goodies. I really don't know what they are. So here's the first, uh, a little shoulder pad. Um, looks a lot like the champion shoulder pad for uh, Space Marines. So I'm um, going to assume that's something close to what it is. I got some, some of these swords, and the nice thing is they're, uh, you know, they're right-handed. A lot of the swords are left-handed. Uh, so, some little sword bits, some old style ones. Got a nifty hammer here. I'd never seen this hammer before, but I thought to myself, that'd be great for either a Black Knight's um, champion, Black Knight's captain, or for an assault marine, uh, one of my assault marines. The other things, now, guys, you're going to have to help me out because I have no idea what these are. I, I have not been able to find them anywhere. Look at these axes. Now they're Forge World, but the quality's not the best, uh, at least as far as I can tell, around the, the axe heads. Um, they've got some kind of eagle or something up there. So if you guys know what these are, please let me know. I'd love to uh, know where they come from. Really just some nifty looking pieces. So there you go. There's some bits and some terrain for you. Let's get on to the next one, shall we? Who's ready for some heavy metal? Oh my goodness, look at all this. Look at all this. So, Warboss Tay, you did this to me. Bostroyan Command Squad. Man, I'm going to have to paint those up. I really like what you've done with your stuff. And uh, even though I don't play Guard, I just love these miniatures. Wanted to paint them up like you did and uh, just have them to look at. Because really, just some great sculpts, some great metal minis. Now, let's look at this big chunk here. First off... I'll start on this side. We've got an old um, Empire Wizard. I'm not sure which type it is. Of course, the top of his staff is missing, which would help me identify him a lot easier. But some kind of old Empire Wizard there. I'll figure that out soon enough. Um, I actually got the full set of these, which are the Space Marine Casualties. Uh, need a little stripping, but hey, who cares? Uh, got the full set for that. Some... Scout Snipers, Old Metal Scout Snipers. I, I really like this one because it's definitely featuring the, the cloak very heavily, which I like my scouts to have those cloaks, uh, if at all possible. Um, I haven't painted any scouts yet, and I'm really kind of working on the design for them just to make sure that they fit in with the rest of my army. I'm thinking black cloaks at the moment, but I want to get y'all's input on that. I believe this is like a Reaper miniature, but just a, a hound there. I really like um, having dogs in my army, being that it's, you know, a really cool addition and just being the hound master, you know? What else? What else? What else? Let's look at this here. Space Marine Veteran. I believe, uh, don't remember what he's exactly supposed to be holding, but just missing an arm, easy enough to replace. Um, another Dark Angel Standard Bearer. Uh, this one is a little different, I believe. Um, in some of the little details, but just picked up the um, this old guy just because you can never have too many uh, standard bearers, right guys? Now, I had a ball with these. Uh, I probably got another couple or at least another one around here somewhere. Let me pull these out for you. My apologies for taking so long to do these videos, but I hope that you're enjoying yourself while you're painting and really uh, getting to see some old miniatures and that kind of stuff. 
So essentially, I got a Space Marine Tech Priest uh, right here, old metal one, um, and I think I've got actually two sets of his arms, um, as well as the sets for, uh, these are the Tech Priests that go on a bike, uh, the old metal ones. So yeah, really sweet uh, sculpts, really, I love Tech Priests, I love the, I mean he's got robes made of you know, mechanical gubbins, but at the same time has those huge overlapping plates. I mean, look at the greaves there. The, that's just some heavy metal right there. Um, of course, got all the, the things that go with all the tech priests. Like I said, I think I got two or three of these sets. Got nice big axe. Um, I've got the, the smaller axe that goes on the one who rides a bike. Um, got a gun. I believe this one goes on the standing guy with the large axe, so master crafted bolter, um, veteran arm there. I got a bunch of these. These are Grey Knight halberds, but luckily they don't have anything on this shoulder pad or in their work to describe them as Grey Knights, so I thought that'd be cool for either some kind of honor guard or uh, something like that, maybe a veteran squad. Um, just nice, simple. Uh, they don't look quite like the new ones. Um, they're a little more, I don't know, simplistic. Um, but I got quite a few of those. Let me just set those to the side so that I can get them out of the pile. Along with more Tech Marine arm gubbins. I, I like this one in particular. It's the um, Champion. It's got a little uh, piece of um, a big purity seal wrapped around it. So that's going to be fun. Uh, let's see some more of the Space Marine casualties here. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure you guys have seen these before. Uh, just nifty little metal things that really help to uh, fill out some bases and fill out some uh, terrain. More Tech Priest arms. Guys, I really went crazy with the Tech Priest arms, didn't I? Um, I've got a couple of these. Let me find the other one. I'm sorry. Uh, these are veterans of course, as you can tell by the number of things on them. So beaky heads, a uh, little chain sword, got a cool nifty book there. So a couple of those. Here is, let's see, another one of those scout snipers. Really great looking, great looking. Um, an Auspex that goes on the tech marine of some sort, not sure which one. This guy's nifty, I hadn't seen him before. This is a, it says librarian, so um, so some kind of space marine librarian. Uh, you can see he's got a book. He's got his force axe. His psychic hood is really strange, though. Let me see if I can get it. Yeah, that's pretty much the extent of his psychic hood, as you can see there. So, but hey, it had a robe, so it came with me, right? Got a head for the horse of the Green Knight from Bretonia, because that might come in handy sometime. Um, let's see some uh, swords. These are, strangely enough, they're Dark Angel swords. I just don't know where from. Um, I, I know this because they've got the Dark Angel shoulder pad on them. Um, built in, well this one isn't built in, excuse me, this one is. Built in um, and just really uh, some individual looking swords. I mean this is an older version but it's got the knots on it. This one is really nice because you don't see that uh, shape that sort of machete shape very often um, in 40k. Uh, got this nifty inquisitor. He's missing his arm that has the, uh, I believe it's some kind of flaming sword, but cool model nonetheless. I can figure something out for that. <laughs> this might be a little boring to you, but an old Empire Great Cannon, solid chunk of metal, almost as heavy as that dreadnought. Uh, got these guys. Uh, I, I mentioned a horse earlier um, in one of my videos, but these are highwaymen um, for Mordheim. Uh, just some cool looking minis. I think they'd be great in um, some pistoliers or in uh, a unit of um, militia. Got big old thunder hammer. Let's see. Nothing to distinguish it into to what chapter or whatever it is. So. Nice big old Thunderhammer metal uh, goodness. Another 
uh, piece for Tech Marine. And let's see, this is, yeah, it's a Celestial on it. So this is a Celestial Wizard um, for the Empire. Again, missing the, the top of his staff, but nothing that I can't fix there. Just one of the old metal ones, very cool. Now, I need to know if this is what I think it is. Um, this appears to be a very old Rogue Trader Space Marine. I'm not sure if this is from the Armor Through the Ages kit or if it's an actual factual uh, old school Space Marine. I do know that it does say GW1990 on the back, so it is fairly old. Um, I'd just like to know what you guys think it is. Um, really just uh, a great little mini. And guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, so again, lots of lots of metal, lots of conversion, plastic bits, some bits, some the Forger World exclusives and Game Stay model, Bostroyans, some shoulder pads, some full miniatures, four, five dreadnoughts, two rhinos. Guys, I I can't tell you enough about this place. Um, I want to meet all of you individually and just walk you through this amazing place that I went. It is phenomenal, and uh, I can't recommend them enough because not only were they helpful and friendly, but they have great prices and <laughs> so much cool product. So, yeah, guys, that's the uh, the new stuff. So I told you what you're going to be seeing upcoming in the channel in another video, but add this to the list, guys. Thanks.